So now, the gift of prophecy is a gift that edifies. Some people mistake the word of knowledge for prophecy. Word of knowledge is the thing that allows me to tell you about a bag. There is a bag in your house. The bag color is red. I see your compound. I see a three. Now, operating through the word of knowledge, gift of the word of knowledge. Now, prophecy talks about edification. The Lord is lifting you up. The Lord is anointing you. I see the door opening right now. Uh, um, the Lord is choosing you. The Lord has called you into this dimension. Now, that is the gift of prophecy because it edifies. Whenever you hear a prophecy, there is a joy. You just feel so happy. Because every time prophecy comes out is to edify. Word of knowledge edifies. Word of knowledge corrects. Word of knowledge rebukes. Does that make sense? Yes. Then he said, he gives someone else the ability to discern whether a message is from the Spirit of God. Now, most people have the gift of discernment. But it depends on the level in which that discernment is working. Without the gift of discernment, you will enter a church where there is no God and still think there is God. It is the gift, the, the spirit of discernment that allows you to, when a man of God is preaching, you can tell if this message is correct. A man of God can say something, something your spirit will say, Kai, this one, no balance. It is discernment, depending on the level of your discernment of spirit. You meet somebody and the person says, we have to go to the river and break an egg. Ah. If the Holy Ghost is active, and you have allowed him dominant over your life, you will know that something is not supposed to. This thing. Uh, every time you encounter a false prophet, somehow you knew he was a false prophet, but the reason why you followed him was because of the miraculous sign. You knew that this man is false. The way he's acting is not real. But I'm, not, I'm seeing results. The thing is that we fail to understand is that the thing you call results are not always results. A man's doctrine can be wrong, but the miracles will be real. And a man can be can be false but the teaching will look accurate uh -huh. you have not heard this one before a man can be false but his teaching will look accurate the bible said that even the very elite will be deceived that means that even those that knows the bible and understand the things of the spirit will be deceived by a false prophet because he is false but he will teach like it is genuine so only a man that has the spirit of the discernment of spirit can discern that this man is false. Without you having the gift of the discernment, I don't know why I'm teaching about spiritual gifts here. Without you having the gift of the discernment of spirit, you can't be able to see into the realm of the spirit. So the absence of the gift of discernment means your blindness in the realm of the spirit. That is why we ask for higher dimension of the seminal spirit. Because it's the highest discernment of spirit is what they call the open vision. Where you are wide awake and you are seen in the spiritual realm. That is the highest of the seminal spirit. It's the discernment of spirit that allows you when you are dreaming, you can tell that you are in Oka while you are dreaming. You can say, I saw myself in the village. How do you know that that was your village? Even when the surrounding does not really look like your village. It's because while you are in that realm, the discernment is sharpened and heightened so that you can perceive in the spirit. Does that make sense? So you need the discernment. You see, most people want to prophesy and see vision, but nobody, people hardly ask God to increase the discernment in them. And the Bible says something, it said the ability to discern whether a message is from the spirit of God or from another. He didn't say the spirit of the devil. From another, which means there are many spirits, but all of them are from the devil. The only one is from God. Because the reason why the Bible says from another, he's trying to explain. If he said from the devil, you will now say, Ah, this man of God prophesied now. Eh, he's, he, he's doing traditional ritual and doing God ritual. So this man is, is, is good, he's good. Yeah, he's in the middle, he's lukewarm. This, this man is anointed. No, the Bible is saying that any spirit outside of what God is doing is evil. So if the Bible said that uh, there are um, a message from the spirit of God or from another spirit or, or, from, or from the devil, you will just weigh it in between that way. But when the Bible says from another, that means whatever spirit that manifests, that does not say that Jesus Christ is Lord is of the devil. I used to tell you this, there are 1,000 doors in the spirit, there are more. I'm giving you and just helping to understand. That if there, if there are 1,000 doors in the spirit, only one leads to God. Every other door is demonic. And all those doors will be calling on you. Do you remember how it feels, for example, you are, you are, you are in your, this is how the spiritual thing works. 
you just your salary is 15,000 naira you are managing with that 15,000 naira you go to um, Roban store you see Coco Pops 2005 you try to touch it something tell you you can't afford it because if you if you buy one Coco Pop you need milk is that correct Coco Pop works with milk okay let me use something we know very well um, Conflex so if I buy one Conflex I need milk is that correct Conflex and just water doesn't work Wahala so you need complex water and milk so that means the moment you buy complex water you must buy pure water you must buy sugar you must buy milk so one complex comes with three things is that correct so now because you have just fifteen thousand, when you look at the complex wisdom and the spirit of the discernment will tell you don't go there so this is natural human discernment this is nothing spiritual so people will tell us that tell us that god said i should not i stop eating cocoa flakes that forget that nonsense God is that how God discipline you? Does that make sense? No. So what happens now is that, but when uh, when eventually you are promoted in your place of work and you start any thirty thousand, you still come to that place. The complex will call your name. You remember, you couldn't buy me. Buy me now, and you turn and you pick it. Now what happened now is that was it, were you walking through the cement? No, you're walking through flesh. Because eventually the same complex will still draw the three things. But this time around, you are ignoring what because you feel like your capacity can carry. Now, you see why you need the same men of the Spirit. Now, then he said, still, another person is given the ability to speak in un un unknown languages. That is the ability for you to speak in tongues. That is why someone can come and say, Erebaso, Peredeo, Shakarena, Kasika. Now, this is speaking in the dialect of the Holy Ghost. Now, everybody has this gift of tongues. It's a natural gift. So don't say that eh, some people have to have it, some people can't. No, the book of Mark 16 17 to 18 breaks it that everybody has the language power. But for you to know that it's also a gift. So that when someone does not speak it, you don't condemn the person. It only means the person have not known how to activate the gift. Because if the Bible said according to Mark 16 that he has to follow them and you don't recognize it as a gift when you someone that cannot speak, you condemn but when the Bible makes you to understand it's a gift, which means that what is, whatever is a gift is something you can ask and receive. That means you don't need to fast to get it. You don't need to cry to get it. It's a gift. It is given willingly. Follow me. Then why another is given the ability to interpret what is being said? So God gives you tongues, gives you interpretation. If you speak in tongues, you must know how to interpret. If you don't know how to interpret, force yourself to know how to interpret. What is the essence of Eremazu Shikra Eraka? You can't speak it in public because you can't interpret it. Forget that we are breaking some rules in the church and we just call Rabba ba, 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 ba. What if we have an unbeliever? An unbeliever comes in and see you speaking Rabba, you say, You people are mad. But if I say Erema Zuve Ekaru Shaka Benakasuka, Lord, I give you access to my vessel to use me. Now I have prayed in tongues and I've interpreted what I've said in tongues. So now a brother can be edified. It's like speaking in English and someone is translating in Igbo language. That is, in, you know, it's interpretation, not translation. Translation is when you translate word from word. When you are talking about interpretation of tongue, it means I say, Rabba Suva Kira Erada Shika Rama Kusaka. Now I said many things, but somebody that wants to interpret the command say, um, he just said, Glory be to God. And you're like, ah, uh -uh, with all the things I said, because it is not translation, but interpretation. So all I do is to give you the understanding behind what I've just said. You don't need to know word for word. Take care, a care, epa se, epa. No. Imagine how he just said only how many words, and yet he translated up to five sentences. From tekel, tekel, epa. He said, oh king, you have been found wanting, and you have been waiting in the balance, blah, blah. I said, just simple words. You know what he was doing? He was interpreting for him. Because the words are short. He was just trying to make the king understand it. Because it's, it's not, if I tell you now, in Ibo, everybody here is Ibo, Ibo. Ibo, if you're not Ibo, raise up your hand, please. Okay, everybody's evil. Now, if I say, who knows what that means? Pen, right? Now, what if the person does not know what pen is? So you now say, what I say, Mishode. Now, assuming that Mishode is a tongue, I just spoke in tongue. Now, interpretation, and you now say, pen. First, say, what is pen? 
you know say you see that thing way 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 tall you get mouth the mouth sharp then they, 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 they get blue red and black then you know, use that right for pepper you say oh what you did was interpretation but the short form of the interpretation is pen but the person does not know what pen is so you go deeper in interpretation I don't know why I'm teaching you tongues. Let's move ahead. My teaching today is the power of love, so follow me. You, you need to understand this. Now, next verse, please. This is good news about Jesus. Uh -uh. Young man has gone to Mark. Um, please read for me, please. Are you there? Please read for me. Now, it is one where, where are you go to verse 10 you're supposed to be verse 11 verse 11 please it is the one and only spirit who okay it is back it's back so it is the one and the and only spirit who distribute all these gifts so it is one and the only spirit he alone the holy ghost alone has the power to distribute all these gifts he alone decide which gift each person should have so why does the holy ghost decide which gift each person should have because the holy ghost knows your capacity he knows the gift that he can use that can find expression in you he knows the gift that your lineage needs he knows the gift that your village people need he knows the gift that is needed for where your purpose and your mission is so whatever gift you have is sufficient for you cultivate them that's why the Bible said, above all, desire that ye may prophesy. Because, because whenever you can prophesy, you can edify. Praise the Lord Jesus. 